You're driving down the coast of Baja on your way to Cabo in your powder blue 1966 convertible Mustang. You smell the ocean breeze, the salt in the air, the wind is whipping through your hair. It's a beautiful sunny day. Then suddenly the road falls out from underneath your car. You find yourself struggling against the waves strapped into your car in the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> I'm Rowena Starling and I welcome you to the Save Your Breath Show where we help parents eliminate the stress and aggravation of parenting. Whether your child is five or 50. Now in that prior scenario, the integrity of the road gave way and spoiled the whole picture. The road represents the integrity. We needed the integrity of the road to carry us to Baja. The destination from that scenario for us is the eventual loving, happy relationship with our adult progeny. And the Pacific Ocean represents the turmoils of life that hit you when integrity is not part of the scenario. Many parents feel that if they are too strict in their discipline with their children, with their families, that somehow they're being hypocritical, they'll be found out, and they'll receive less respect than they're getting already. And, but really, it's easier than that. If they would just realize that the integrity of what they're doing in the discipline with their children makes a difference, all of the difference, for the character that the child develops and for the safety of the child. Then they would accept the help that they desperately need to get their integrity intact. How weak are you in your discipline with your children? What's happening in the integrity in that scenario? Do you threaten and not follow through? Do you over-threaten knowing that you're not going to follow through? These things send a message. The integrity is off, and the child is learning all of this stuff second to second as we're running it. I have a family system that helps parents get their own family system in order from the calling of being a parent to the uh, raising the dough of supporting the family, I call it, respect, discipline, aligning the core values and the priorities of the family, all of this is done in that system. So if you find that you are weak in your discipline, in your integrity, then do employ my services. I do have a link showing here uh, at the bottom of the screen. It's a complimentary session just to make sure that you are on track. Now, this second quarter of the Save Your Breath Show is focused in integrity. The integrity that we instill or not in our families, with our children, with our spouses, our integrity, the integrity that we walk around in every day, even at work, that integrity is what we're going to be talking about because our children absorb all of that, everything about us. They're, absor they're absorbing, observing, deciding that they're going to keep or discard various aspects of who we are. Everything about us is communication. In fact, the first quarter of our, of our uh, year here was focused in communication. And I hope you were able to glean something in that first quarter that helped make your journey easier as a parent. I think it's the perfect segue into integrity because integrity is at the center of everything that we are, everything that we communicate. How we are is about our integrity. So what is integrity? How is it that communication is so important to, you know, integrity? Well, 
Integrity is the uncompromising devotion to moral and ethical principles. It's about the truth, discipline, and core values that you instill in your family, that you implant in your children. The idea is to understand how important that is for the child to be strong in who they are because it's the honor and the trust that they have in understanding their integrity, your integrity, what that's about, that helps them have the confidence to go out into the world and do what they need to do to be strong and attract or not to the desires that they want in their lives. We are like mighty trees, mighty redwoods, mighty fruit trees. I think of the parents as the trunk and the root of the tree. Our roots are the core values that feed the family, that feed the trunk of the tree, that extends up into the heavens and the fruit that comes out are the children. And the children are reaching into the future and bringing back and pulling us forward into the future. They are the fruit. They gather the energy like the sun feeds the leaves and the fruit and feeds the rest of the trunk with information. The children bring fresh information, right? But the children cannot, cannot even be here without the trunk and the roots. The trunk and the roots support that whole, that whole scenario. Everything works together. You understand what I'm saying? And the integrity of all this must be effectively communicated. And it is effectively communicated. I mean, you just have to ask yourself, what is it that you're communicating? <laughs> I mean, seriously, uh, I've seen some pretty whacked out communication going on. So uh, <clears throat> in any event, just to, just to give you an idea, just a, a, a little, uh, small example of the idea that I mean here as an example. My son, uh, who's, he's over 30 years old now, but when he was a little boy, uh, that was a very uh, heartbreaking instance in our lives where uh, I separated from his father and I, I took him with me. And uh, that whole separation and divorce scenario is heartbreaking and devastating for me as a business person. I lost everything, including my car. So one day, my son and I need to go to the grocery store. Now, the grocery store is a couple of miles away. So we're walking to the store. And because, you know, I'm pretty tired, uh, it's later in the day, probably about 4 or 5 o'clock. I think it's winter. Um, when we come out of the store with our groceries, it's dark. So I've got my, my you know, bags of groceries in my purse over my shoulder, and fortunately, my son can comport himself. He's about three or four years old, so he's following along, you know, like the little chicks do, and they're, uh, you know, following the, the mother duckling. And I'm walking down the street in the dark, and I hear this <laughs> rustling of papers. I turn around, and my son is unwrapping a candy bar. And I say, I stop in the moment there and say, son, what, where did you get this candy bar? He says, from the store. I said, and uh, I don't recall paying for this candy bar. How did you get it? I, I just took it. You just took it. That's stealing. Now, I needed to stand there and tell him how important it was to not steal. In fact, my core value was that you don't steal. And I got that from where? My mother, and of course society, but my mother was the first to tell me. And uh, this is a core value that I was making sure that I instill in my son. So as tired as I was, I mean, we were now at least a uh, half a mile down the road toward home <laughs> with all of these groceries, we marched back to the store with the remaining candy, which I had confiscated, we found the manager of the store. I had my son apologize to the manager of the store for stealing. 
And of course, the manager of the store understands what's going down, and he, you know, says that, son, I'm not going to call the cops on you this time, but, you know, make sure you never let that happen again. You know, it was, it was pretty cool. I mean, he helped me with this uh, scenario. But you see, stopping in the moment to handle that was important because in my mind, I knew that if I didn't stop in that moment and handle it, I mean, completely, then then what happens later down the road is I have to repeat the lesson and it may be for something far more serious, something stolen that's far bigger, something that's stolen that's really involved in the law. So you see what I mean. The integrity of that was important because um, I wanted my son to get that very sharp point. I grew up in a poor neighborhood, and my mother was always concerned about somebody stealing something from her. <laughs> in fact, that is so deeply ingrained now. Don't let me displace anything around the house. I'm sure somebody stole it. So you understand what I'm saying? Now, the beauty of this is the importance of that is transmitted, and the importance of integrity in our lives is that it, as you move through life, as you move from one experience to another, meeting various people, doors open for you. And I wanted my son to understand that nobody is going to hire someone they can't trust. Integrity and trust and being strong for what you stand for, the discipline of that, that's integrity. It's important to be known for your honor, your honesty, your discipline, your integrity. Another case in point, years down the line, my son and I are invited to the home of some very dear friends. It's Christmas time, it's winter, and he and I arrive uh, to the uh, home. This is a home where, you know, the various members of the family converge <laughs> on the establishment with their kids and luggage in tow, food and everything. And uh, so we arrive there. By the time we get there, half of the brood have collected and their kids are upstairs and had been put to bed or put up there for bedtime at around, you know, nine o'clock. It's the holiday. But they were still being, you know, kids making racket upstairs in the attic. And uh, when I got there, the, the, the parents, the adults, my, you know, siblings, I call them, were um, saying, you know, oh my God, they've been making this noise for a couple of hours. It's your turn to go up there and tell them to be quiet. <laughs> now, I was not looking forward to that because there was this ladder that goes, you know, one of those rickety wood ladders you climb up into the attic in. They had converted the attic into a, a, a sleeping area. So I knew I did not want to be bothered with doing that again. So got my son ready for bed, took him up there. It was my turn to do the reprimand, and I told him, I said, look, if I have to come up here again, I am going to separate each and every one of you, and you will be sleeping in a different room separate from each other. Is that what you want to do? No. Great. Then make a point of being quiet up here and going to sleep. As I'm going down the stairs, I hear my son whisper to them, and she'll do it too. <laughs> Integrity. He knew that if I said I was going to do something, it's about to happen. It's going down exactly as I said if my instructions were to adhere to. Um, adhere to. So um, I say that to say that that's just a small example of what's important. Now, how do you uh, instill this integrity? And I think another thing about it is it directs our future, you know, based on what you're doing now, it's sort of just one thing pile, piles onto the other, and before you know it, you've accomplished something. How do you instill integrity? How do you garner the strength of character for yourself and your child? Make it easy. You've got this. You already have the core values instilled in you from your parents. 
relax, step back into it, gather it together. Write this down. Oh, okay, and if you don't have something to write with, just kind of make a note of it, <laughs> a mental note of this. Quiet mind, easy flow. How do we do it? You need to be in touch with what's going on and in guiding you from moment to moment. There is a power within us that gives us the right direction from moment to moment. We're able to recognize when it's the right direction versus the wrong direction because guess what? We can feel which one is right and which one is wrong. And if you have difficulty holding on to that moment-to-moment -moment quiet mind, one of the most powerful tools that I find that I use is meditation. There are like a thousand different ways to meditate. There's physical meditation, spiritual meditation, walking meditation. I mean, find what works for you and then exercise it and listen. Listen to that quiet and have that go with you as you go about your day-to-day -day activities. As much as you can. I understand kids are noisy, but that's what they do. You need to be quiet right within all of that noise. That's the fun part. Just relax. Make it easy. One of my most favorite people in the world is Michael Bernard Beckwith. I'm sure he doesn't know that, but I love to quote him. And this is what he has to say about it. It's about truth. It's being about truth. As you begin to study the wisdom teachings of the ages and be about the truth, the fruition is the, integrity, is the realization of integrity. Integrity is about being integrated with the spiritual values of the universe. These values live within us. That's me speaking aside. It is also about being happy because happiness and joy mean that you are coming into integrity with your soul. So the core values are there. You already have them. Your soul is carrying them. Your, your environment and your parents have transmitted their, their values. You can pick and choose what you want to go forward with with your children, with your lives. Even if your children are now adults, they're still watching you. They're still picking up on things. They're still noticing whether they can, whether they can change or not based on whether you're able to change or not, especially if we're talking about something that you feel that should be changed and that you would like to have changed with them. So what if we don't engage a deeper relationship <laughs> with integrity. <laughs> well, just look around you. See what's going on in the world. There's a whole lot of non-integrity things going down. Our part in this is to fix that, is to have our integrity intact. And as we have our integrity intact and we transmit this to our children, it moves out into the environment in waves, in waves that touch the lives of other people, and we can, fix, we can fix this. I have observed parents in public, in their homes, who have dropped the ball. Their kids are running them. I mean, seriously, when was the last time you saw a piece of fruit tell the trunk what to do? Just not the way of, uh, it's not the way of the world. Well, not the way of the world that you want to have going forward. Because as wonderful as the message is that the children bring to us, they still need to have a foundation in this physical aspect that they're totally unfamiliar with. We're here to show them the shortcuts and to have them engage with integrity. So without integrity, the challenges of life can sway them to the dark side. We all know what the dark side is. Their spirits can be broken. And you've seen adults walking around here, the dead look in their eyes, no juice for life. Their spirits are broken. Not to mention dishonor. 
and the loss of self-respect. So I ask you, what if you don't engage on a deeper level with integrity? If you're struggling with that, please do allow me to serve you. The link is listed somewhere in this program or at the end. The complimentary prog the uh, strategy, the complimentary parenting breakthrough session uh, is a $250 value for free that allows us to see where you are in that whole process. We are the deans and chancellors of home university, the heroes. And what do heroes have in common? We all know they thrive on integrity. So as deans and chancellors of home university, making, make a point of having integrity in everything that you're putting forth and putting down for your little students and your big ones. Because like I said, even though our children are no longer children, what you say and do makes an impression on them. How you say and do makes an impression on them. What you say and do can undo damage. <laughs> well, I thank you very much for watching and listening. Tune in and receive doses of what it is that you need. I hope that we have them here for you. And tell your friends, you probably know someone that is out of integrity with what they're doing with their children. Forward the show to them. I'll see you soon, and I wish you eternal joy.